The flight from Romania conveying Nigerians stranded there while fleeing from the war in Ukraine was billed to touch down in Abuja at 3.30 a.m. As the hours go by, the media awaits any information on when the plane would arrive with the returnees. Finally, at about 7 a.m., the plane landed, carrying with it over 450 students and a few government officials. The welcome party, made up of several government agencies on board the aircraft, and they addressed the returnees. As we come down in two files, we will walk straight uh, to meet with Port Authority, and uh, there the Health Port Authority will give you forms to fill. We will only take your samples uh, for the COVID test. As you are all aware, it was waived for us before you got on the plane. Uh, the moment that is done, you will be directed to immigration. And as soon as you are done with immigration, we will direct you to where you will collect a token of transportation for you to be able to head back home. The majority leader of the House of Representatives, who was part of a delegation that went to Romania to bring back the returnees, says Nigeria's foreign missions need to be better prepared for crisis situations such as this one. The Federal Minister of Foreign Affairs through the federal government next time uh, going forward should try to envisage some of these things as by way of emergency anticipation. So that when we are budgeting, we budget for the missions to be able to address these kind of circumstances whenever they come up. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs lays out its plans for the returnees, especially in terms of continuing the education. Our government is already talking with the governments of Poland, of Greece, of uh, Romania and Hungary to see if those of them that are in their fifth year medical student, I mean medical year, fifth and sixth year, can actually go back to universities in these countries to be able to complete their studies. While the students are being profiled and tested for COVID-19, they would be given $100 each to return to their various destinations across the country. There was indeed a sense of relief for this first batch of Nigerian evacuees who landed in their home country.